Hi guys, today this video is about the most important resource of your assembly step one, boards and beyond, and how to use it, how to um, use these lectures to annotate your first date, um, and which subscription to take. Just a little bit about me that I started studying um, for my USME Step 1 last year um, when I was actually sitting for my RSEP exam and uh, I took Boards and Beyond subscription and I took it for a year and for me it was a nice segue to start preparing for USML exam. So um, I'm going to show you how which subscription is better for you, how you can actually not only use for your USML Step 1, but also for your clinical rotations and your electives are your, um, when you're working uh, in a team, um, in a hospital, how you can actually implement. So the first thing I would like to uh, discuss is the the type of subscription one should take for Boards and Beyond. I personally think Boards and Beyonds is the best investment you could do for your step one prep. So do not worry about whatever amount of money you'll have to uh, spend because it's totally worth it. So uh, I took a year of subscription, not that I had to study for that long, but it, it was just so, I was so used to those lectures, sometime even before exam night, or I'm going for jogging or doing um, a gym, I will have the, my lectures on just for revision purpose on like 1.5 or 1.7 speed. So I feel that take the subscription of one year, that would be really helpful, especially for a step one preclinical. So this is how Boards and Beyonds looked like. Looks like this is my subscription. I took it for a year and it's still I think a couple of weeks to go. Um, uh, probably longer than that, I don't remember because I shared it with one of my friends. I was studying for my RSEP exam. So if you click on step one preclinical, you will see all set of videos. Um, including all the basics and systematically. Um, I really like the way the videos were laid out. I started with the systems first because I was working and studying for RACP. So whatever, uh, if you're working or doing internship or if you're a student or whatever rotation you're doing, I feel like you should listen to lectures accordingly. For instance, if you're doing cardiology, listen to the cardiology lectures and you can, you know, interpret it, your knowledge and implement on your actual patients and it will be quite good learning. Um, anyway, you could start either um, this uh, basics versus system. I started with the systems. So let's click on cardiology. Um, it's here. So cardiology is further subdivided into um, multiple subcategories. So look at these subcategories um, and they are all the lectures and if you click on one of the category, anatomy and physiology, all these lectures pops out. Um, so how the, the important features of this video are, first of all, I always used to start my lecture with, with, with a video quiz first, just to get the idea how much I knew or how much concept I have of things before jumping into lectures. You could do it the other way around after listening to lecture. And few people like to have their own PDF version of the lectures. So if you are one of those people, you could always download your PDF and annotate it and study it. If you want to make uh, notes, you can always click on video notes and make your own notes over there. The most important point over here, they, they have um, documented first aid um, edition and the page which tally these lectures are, or which these lectures are connected to. So I was using first day 2020, so it was 283, so you can open that page and you can pretty much annotate that page easily. So let's click on the um, uh, website, like um, the, the, the uh, lecture first. Um, I, I used to change it to 1.25 to 1.5, depending on what my mood was. And then you listen to whole lecture and you can mark the lecture as if you have done it or not. Um, there are a couple of times I found few mistakes in it and I give them feedback and it was quite nicely um, answered and uh, corrected. And here you can add notes as well. So this is how I used to do it. I used to, because you can get this subscription, you can like literally use it on any, um, anywhere, like on iPad, a phone, um, on your laptop. So I used to keep it on my phone and I used to just listen to lectures. Even while like I'm driving, I would just listen to 
the next thing is how to enter your first aid um, I'm gonna show you how I did mine and you can always use your methods and ways um, there's another thing I made my flashcards which I'm still in process of um, putting them on online so they are basically amalgam of uh, first aid and boats and beyonds and combined together just like Anki um, Lightyear if you guys can go to reddit and go to Anki Lightyear and choose the deck I think they're pretty helpful I think they're like quite a lot mine are around um, 20,000 but it's like thorough questioning of um, all the systems and um, I feel like I was just carrying them along and just like revising if I was like traveling somewhere I was at the party um, I find them quite helpful um, if you guys wanted to just not to reinvent the wheel you guys can always um, just look through the light here Anki or wait for my website to be uploaded hopefully in a month or so because I have asked my minion cousins to you know change into the so this was my uh, first aid which i not only use for step one but also for step two and even study in step three um i annotated it this way first of all i made these headings all the basics over here and the systems on top and bottom i gave them color coding according to whatever i find it harder for me and just go by it and then also i made tiny little color coding um here if you could see these are for important topics to me which i find harder or i need to be jumping on it like ans drugs or dermatology are those tiny little things so i made them annotated so it would be easier for me to straight jump on into the topic for instance let's go to renal i'll straight go into renal uh i pretty much added all those things from boards and beyonds i find them um that were nicely explained um and uh, i feel like they were um uh, quite nicely uh annotated over here a few important things which i learned from you world question i annotated them later separately and um few things i thought there are a few topics was exceptionally good in uh, boards and beyonds and i annotated my book accordingly and uh, So one question which is very commonly answered over here, how long should one take to do the first reading? My answer to this always is when you are ready. Because the first reading is like you are making your concepts or solidifying the pre-existing concepts. So if you have really good grasp of the topic or have a good concept, I think the next, the subsequent, subsequent reading will become easier for you. So I will say, as long as you take and as long as it's easier for you because few people they have a great memory they pick up things faster few people don't they take their sweet time so i will say whatever is suitable to you do that you should create your own timeline for that